everyone. This is uh, Miss Iqbal. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do the weasel with the stamp game. So I have $2,829 divided among 23 uh, people. So I already got, uh, you know, uh, dividend with the stamps also. So it has a special name. The money uh, before dividing is called dividend. So I have 2829. This is dividend and that's divisor. So I already got the stamps. If you see nine units, nine units. Two tens, two tens, uh, eight hundreds, eight hundreds, and two thousands. So let's start dividing money. So I have, well, let's see. Okay. So I put this uh, blue skittle stands for 10 people and that blue schedule also stands for 10 people 10 20 that green schedule stand for one person 21 and that green schedule schedule stands for 10 uh, one person 22 and 23 all together we have now 23 people so I have to divide money among 23 people. So let's begin. Uh, when we do the vision, we always begins with the largest category. What is the largest category in 2829? Thousands. So let's start giving uh, from the thousands. So if I'm giving 1,000 to this person and 1,000 to this person, how much they got? They got 100. Each got 100. That person is representing 10 people. So that person stands for 10 people person stands for 10 people so each will get 100 so that person stands for one so that will get 100 and this one will get 100 of course this one is also get 100 all right does everyone has equal amount yes of course everyone has equal amount everyone got 100 so we have more money to distribute so let's give 100 to this one and 100 to this one how much each person got <clears throat> the, as i already said that stamp for 10 people that stands for 10 people so each get one ten so i'm going to give one ten to that person because that stands for one person that's why he's going he's getting one ten and that one get one ten too oh, oh we do not have enough tens so what we do so let's remove these tens because if we give 10 to that person and 10 to that person will not fear for that person so what we can do we can take okay tens go right to here all right and i am i am taking 100 so i'm going to go to the bank and i'm going to exchange all right 10, 10 makes 100. So I will put back in the bank and I will get 10 tens. So I'm going to show you here. 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 10, and 
10 tens. 10 tens makes 100. So I'm going to take 10 tens here. And I'm going to put 100 back here. So I'm going to put a tens in the tens. Okay. Always one, two, three. Always make sure we get the correct amount. One, two, three, four, five tens, six tens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Seven, seven tens, eight tens. Nine tens and ten tens. All right. Now we have enough tens to distribute. So if I'm going to give one ten to this person, one ten to this person, and one ten to this person, does everyone has equal amount? Yes, everyone has equal amount. Let me put a little bit closer. So, all right. So. What is the next largest category? 100. So I'm going to give 100 to this person and 100 to this person. So how much each got? 10 because they are representing 10 people. So this one representing 10 and this one representing 10 and each are uh, getting 110. So this one get one ten stands for one person. This will get ten stands for one person, and same with this is the skitter. So, so how does everyone got equal amount? Yes. So, what is the next largest category? Tens. So, I'm going to give one ten to this one. And one ten to this one. So how much each person got? One unit. So you already know now. The this one stands for ten people. This one stands for ten people. So that's why they are getting one. So one unit. So this one stands for one. It will get one unit and this one will get one unit and this one will get one unit. So I'm going to give one to him and one to him. So how much they will get? One unit. One unit to this person and one unit to this person and one unit to this person. We still have more tens. So I'm going to give one ten to the person who is representing 10 people and I'm going to give 10 to this person representing 10 people and one unit to this person stands for one person that skittle stands for one person and that skittle stands for one person so how much each person got. So, each person, the answer is the share of one person. So, how much each person, person got? Uh, let's go 123. So, it, that is our answer. So, I already have here, let me put a little bit closer, then you can see here. So each person got $123. This is called quotient. It has a special name also quotient. If you see if, how much each person, this is quotient. Let me put it on the top. Quotient here and here. Each person got $123. Has a special name is called quotient. All right, so that's how today and now is your turn to practice and see you next time.